Hello everybody, it's Jen. I'm back with some more projects with Spellbinders goodies, which were kindly sent to me by Spellbinders. So today I'm making these two cards using the Grateful stamp and die set, which is so adorable. So here's what the stamp set looks like. I will link the products below and we'll jump right into the card. So I'm starting off using some Canson XL watercolor paper and my VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And I'm using this block of cheese and I'm going to do a background, almost like a patterned paper. I haven't done this in a while and I thought that this little block of cheese would be the perfect image for a really cute background with the great or graders, I guess, as the focal point of the card. So I'm actually going to be using my distress markers. I absolutely love my distress markers. I started watercoloring with these, and so that's probably why I am most comfortable with them. I will link all of the colors down in the description box below. I did speed this up and didn't keep the whole thing in because I'm really repeating the same thing on all of the images. So just using a number of the colors to get a lot of dimension in these images. And then I'm using a Tim Holtz paintbrush. These come in a multi-pack and are very affordable. And I think Piper just ran across the screen there. And I just watercolored those images so that uh, they were all nice and blended on the paper. So now I'm going to be coloring the cheese graters and I'm just using a gray marker. And then I'm bringing in the sponge sugar, the pink, for the cheeks on the one with the little face. So I'm coloring this similar to the cheese where I lay down my ink with the marker directly to the paper and then I use some water with a paintbrush to uh, blend out that color. And I'm using a very light wash with these particular images. So I'm going to use the dies that come in the stamp set to cut these out. And then I'm going to move right into my sentiment. So I'm going to get these lined up, super simple. And I'm using my Tim Holtz Travel Stamp Platform here. And I'm stamping out the sentiment so very grateful. I absolutely love the font that Spellbinders uses for this collection. So I'm just using some regular old black cardstock and some fine detail white embossing powder here. So I heated that up. I'm going to have this as a pretty thick black strip for the sentiment and I decided in the end that I wanted to have one of the cheese on the front panel with the uh, cheese grater so I decided to just die cut one out uh, where the sentiment panel will cover so you'll never know. Well you might know but the recipients will never know. So I'm using a four and a quarter by five and a half A2 size card base. I made this out of Canson XL watercolor paper as well so that it matched with the front panel here. And I'm just using my new to me Xyron adhesive tape runner and I'm still kind of getting used to it. It goes on much differently than the ATG gun so I'm just getting a little practice but so far I like it. I did need to trim up that sentiment uh, strip a little bit and then I'm going to place the images on the card. So I decided to make some clean and simple cards with these stamp sets because they are my favorite. If you've watched me for a while you will know that I am all about clean and simple but I really love how this came together and I think it is super cute. I love the little cheese grater with the smiley face. So I am going to pop this particular image up on some foam adhesive. I was just using some little pieces that I had in my stash that I wanted to use up, which was perfect. And to finish off this card, I'm going to be using my Spectre Noir Glitter Brush Marker just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. So that is the first card done. And then we're going to go on to make a second card. The second card is 
definitely more clean and simple. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some masking and stamping. So you can see here I've cut out the masks using some full-size post-it note paper and I put them on my piece of paper here. I'm using Spectrum Noir cardstock for this and I put them on the paper to give me a guide. So I'm stamping that out with the sentiment and just using my Lawn Fawn stamp chamois here to uh, clean up the stamp and then I'm going to put it, I'm going to put the mask back into place here and then I'm going to lay the other one so I can see where I want it and then I put the stamp on top, take the mask off and then I will stamp it. So I was poking around the Spellbinders website just to kind of check it out and I did notice that a lot of the products they sent me, if you caught my first video, I will link it here and below in the description box, but a lot of those awesome paper packs they sent me, there was one with gold and silver, they have those on clearance right now for $1.79. So if you saw that video and loved the product as much as me, I would suggest heading on over and grabbing those products for such an amazing deal. I will leave all the links below to the products that I showed in the first video as well. So I did want to just give these images a little bit of a background. So I used my squeezed lemonade for a little bit of a yellow halo effect. And for this card, I'm using my Copic markers. And so I'm using a combination of yellows for the cheese as well as for the U in the sentiment. So I love how it had some open spaces in the sentiment so you could tie in colors from the images if you wanted to. These were super simple to color. This card didn't take me very long at all and I had a lot of fun coloring these without having to give it much thought. So I hope that you've enjoyed these cards today as well as the other two with the Fire Up the Grill uh, set that I featured in my previous video. And I just want to thank Spellbinders for sending me some goodies to play with. It was a ton of fun, like I said, and it's always kind of nice to be asked to receive some free products and, you know, to just play with them with no obligation to do a video or anything like that. I just really loved these two stamp sets so I really wanted to showcase them and share them with you because I actually didn't know that Spellbinders carried stamps with coordinating dies uh, as sets especially these kind of whimsical cutesy kind of stamps so thank you very much Spellbinders and thank you all for watching I do appreciate it um, with the graders here, I'm just using some of my C markers to give them that aluminum tin. It wouldn't be aluminum, but kind of tin look. And so <laughs> just going to color those up, putting in some shading. And again, I'm going to use a little bit of pink for the cheeks for this little grader with the smiley face, which cracks me up every time I look at it. So super cute. So that's my card today. I'm just going to finish up the coloring and then it will be complete. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend a little of it with me. Once I get the grounding here uh, of the images, the card will be done with the added little extra of some Nouveau white uh, drops, which I just felt like the card needed a little bit something else just to finish it off, but you could definitely leave it right here at this point and it would be super, super cute. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.